Okay. Okay, and you'll see a anti-skid on-off switch. I want you to turn that to on. All right. Okay, you'll see uh, directly 90 degrees right of the throttle, you'll see a uh, flap slat uh, label where your flap is. I want you to left click onto the, the box, or excuse me, right click on it. I don't know what you're supposed to do, but I want you to take that, there you go, right click, and it'll take it to half. Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. okay. Okay, now let's come forward a little bit and you'll see the landing gear, nose left, right. And to right above that, you'll see emergency jettison. And just to the right of the emergency jettison is you say flaps. Um, right. Make sure it says half. All right. Does it say half? Yep. Okay, perfect. Next, I want you to come all the way to the right side of the cockpit. Mm -hmm. And on the far light, right, you'll see a exterior lights panel. Do you see that? Yes. All right. So beneath the exterior lights, you have landing, taxi, anti-collision, strobe, navigation, et cetera, et cetera. Take all of those to forward or right click on all of them. All right. To include formation brightness. And let me know when that's done. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. what this is called is a green jet configuration. And this mm -hmm. this uh, is essentially the aircraft is ready to fly at this point. You've got everything set up the way you want to. We call that green jet. Okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Have you flown the T-45 before? Yeah, yesterday I uh, rehearsed a bit. A little uh, takeoff, some landings, yeah. Okay, so you are familiar with that. All right, so with that said, let's go over some basics of comms. Okay. Excuse me, got a little drink there. Um, so what happened is, once I'm in a green conf jet configuration, I'll call out, I'll go lead this green jet, and then you'll call out either two needs more time or two is green jet. And that lets me know essentially that you're ready to taxi. All right. Right. Taxi and take off actually. So um, the way we acknowledge each other, my call sign is going to be, well, who cares about the call sign? But as far as internally, I'll either be one or lead and you're going to be number two. Okay. All right. Um, so I'll refer to you as two. You'll refer to me as lead. And typically after the first call, all you have to do is say, uh, in order to, if you if you understand the message or the instructions that I'm giving you, you'll just acknowledge by saying two. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So with that said, let's go ahead and start taxiing out. So in this situation, I go leads taxiing, and then you just go two. All right. So leads taxiing. Okay. Now, have you, you have not done any formation work, is that correct? You mean experience in uh, formation flying? Yes. Uh, hardly. <laughs> hardly, okay. All right, well, we're gonna I do- tried it. I, I tried it with a friend, but it didn't go too smooth. <laughs> now, don't worry about it. By the way, uh, uh, my my MFDs are off. I need to enable them, I guess. No, don't worry about the MFDs. Okay, no problem. Uh, essentially, what we're, we're going to work on while you're in the T-45 is formation flying as well as uh, just some basics of comms, okay? Our job now is just to make you a competent wingman. And then from there, we'll build on those skills. All right. All right, so we're at the hold short line of the runway. So at this point, I'd actually to call ready for takeoff. 
and you would respond with either two ready for takeoff or two is not ready for takeoff. I need, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes, whatever the case may be. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Um, the first formation we're going to go over is, matter of fact, you saw the video, right? So you saw the wedge and the spread formation? The video I just sent you? Well, I, I saw, I think, the first uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So I got until the part of the... Uh, uh, you are asking uh, your friend uh, what's the default uh, formation, and he said wedge, and he said something about fingertips. No. Uh, and that's it. The... I got to that part. No, the 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 one I just sent you is is only a I think it's only like seven or eight minutes. Okay, so maybe I saw the wrong one. Yeah. The one that I sent you. Give me uh, one moment. The one that you sent, uh, I opened it. It was a YouTube um, video. Yeah, it's six minutes. And, uh, and you were, you were, ah, it was only six minutes. And it's just me. You were me. meeting someone. Yeah, and you asked him to uh, have a level flight, uh, 3,000, 300. And, went, and then you went to direction uh, 030. And uh, so this is the That's, video we are talking about? No, I, uh, I sent you a direct message video and I'm looking okay. uh, under the DM that I sent you and um, right. I sent it at 11, so I sent it about 35 minutes ago. All right, so I, di I didn't see that movie. No. You didn't see that. Okay, well, um, hmm. okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll take off and we'll do the fingertip formation or the wedge formation which is the same thing and if you look at your right hand and spread all your fingers out straight mm -hmm. the middle finger is going to represent me as a lead aircraft and then the pointer finger to the left of the middle finger is going to represent you and pretty much that's the formation you want to get go off of um it would have been better for you to watch that video that i dm'd you but uh mm -hmm. because that would have told you where exactly to be rather than me trying to explain it in the air which is very difficult but here we are it's no big deal okay right. uh, so uh with that said we'll do the same thing we saw in your video we'll do a roll and take off with the five second spacing well uh, i'm right. gonna hold 300 knots and 3,000 feet for the altitude um when i take off when i get lined up Huh. Let me think about this. You've got no, here's the problem. You've got no experience flying and you don't know exactly where to be or do you, do you kind of understand the formation that we're going to try to achieve here? Well, uh, I think I have some experience because uh, in the BMS, I, uh, I, I've flown, I think, uh, seven, eight flights with the, with the ship. Uh, as being uh, number three, number four, so I know the, I think I know the wedge, I, I know the echelon, I know the fingertips more or less. Okay. So, I think I'm familiar with it. All right. I'm not, I'm not good at it, I'm not good no, at it, but... No, don't worry about being good. <laughs> I just, I just need, in your mind, you know, you should know where to be, that's all. Yeah, okay. Okay, um, so, uh, let's, so, let's go for some basic comms. In the event that you lose sight of me, you're going to call blind which like a blind person you can't right. see me so that's going to be your your brevity for letting me know that you don't you don't see me you don't know where i am and in the event that you get sight of me once again you're going to call visual and hopefully that makes sense um visual means that i am in position no visual means you see me you, you oh, have, okay after the blind part okay, so yes yeah. after the blind part uh, right. When you get in, in yeah. when you're in formation and you feel you're about where you should be, you'll call set or saddle. Um, either or does, either or works, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, for now, we we'll leave it at that. I don't want to cram too much in your head at once. Um, with that said, uh, with the rolling takeoff, we'll go out here, go to the runway. I'll get lined up on the runway without stopping, and then I'll give it some gas. Um, and I'll call out leads rolling. Uh, you're going to wait a minimum of five seconds before you depart uh, okay. to avoid my wake 
to, to avoid the, the dirty air coming out of my aircraft. And then okay. you'll, you'll give it some gas, you'll hit full throttle as well, and then you'll call twos rolling. Once I'm airborne, I'll call airborne wheels up, flaps up, mm -hmm. and then you'll call the same once you're airborne, everything is safe, and you got your gear and flaps up, you'll call the same thing, okay? Right. Does everything make sense so far, or you have any questions? Yeah, great. All right, brother. Well, let's start rocking and rolling. You did say you're ready for takeoff, correct? Two ready for takeoff. All right, let's rock and roll. Leads rolling. Or not, excuse me, not rolling. Taxi to the runway. So right now I'm checking left, making sure nothing's on final. Checking right. Airspace appears to be clean. Got nothing. Getting her lined up. Slow and smooth, smooth and steady. All right, as my nose is coming around, I'm getting lined up on the center line and lead is rolling. You should be rolling sooner than later. You're rolling. Okay. Hey, you've got a little bit of a gap between you and I, which is going to make it a little bit more difficult for you to find me, but. Don't worry about it for now. Two airborne. Give up. Flaps up. All right, sounds good. I'm making a right turn. Let's go zero three zero for the heading. I'm passing one thousand two hundred feet now. Do you have me in sight? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. To hold to my 300 or to increase to get in to get to to get to you the contract speed is for me to hold actually i'm high so you need to increase to get to me i'm supposed to be right. holding 300 3000 So the contract, the contract speed is always for the leader. It's not for the uh, the rest of the flight. And the reason he's holding the, this airspeed and altitude is for you guys to catch up, or you or the flight to catch up, and to call set or saddle. Does that make sense? Yes.
All right, so what we, should, what we should be doing is slowly working our way into formation. Let's push the throttle forward. It should be coming a little bit more to the left. So we, want, we don't want to be in a trail formation. We want to be off to, my, off to my left. So let's slowly start working on getting ourselves there. More throttle. There you go. Keep pushing the throttle forward. There it goes. And slowly start bringing it back. Slowly start bringing it back. Slowly. Slowly start bringing it back. A little bit forward. Forward, forward, forward. Very good job. And at this point, you'd call it set or saddle. It's your bottom position. So about right there, back on the throttle, back on the throttle. There you go. Very nice job. So call set or saddle. Set is saddle? Two is two is set, or you can call two is saddle, one or the other. Throttle forward, okay. throttle forward, throttle forward, throttle forward. All right, let's get throttle back forward. Come on, let's go. What is that? Jeez. All right, so you notice when you close it in pretty good. Slowly keep doing what you're doing. Just slowly start adjusting the throttle to match my airspeed. Once you get on my wing, forward more. I want you forward more. Some more throttle. Please set. Okay. Let's start coming forward more. Push the throttle forward. Okay, so I want you to take a look at my aircraft, and you should be looking at my left wing at the moment. Back off the throttle just a hair, start coming back onto the throttle. Nothing is instantaneous, so when we notice that we're closing up, we have to be a little bit of a it as far as our throttle inputs. Now, if you're looking at my wing, you should see the front part of my wing is called the leading edge, and the rear part of my wing is called the trailing edge. So are you looking at it? Yes. Okay. Now. As far as the leading edge of the aircraft is concerned, I want you to pretend like there's a laser going down the leading edge of the aircraft. Don't worry about the F-16 off your left. And I want you to um, put yourself in line with the laser coming down the leading edge of the aircraft. This you're in pretty good, you're in really good formation right now. You're in perfect formation. I this is perfect, I'm not too far. No, the formation can be far or close, but just for your own matter of fact, yeah, I want you to close up just a little bit, alright? So let's start getting a little closer. But you're in you're in very you're in perfect position rather. Because you're going right down the leading edge of my aircraft. Okay. So I need to uh, imagine a laser from the leading edge the of the aircraft, edge. yes. And you want to put your yeah, aircraft I do you want to put your aircraft, whether it's you specifically or the nose of your aircraft, you want to put your aircraft to intercept that laser? Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, not exactly. I mean, you're saying to imagine a laser from the leading edge of the wing, right? Of my wing, right? Yeah. Let's get closer first. let us I'll, I'll talk as you're getting closer. Let's start working on getting closer. Slowly. Okay. You should be pushing the throttle forward as you're making these adjustments. Push the throttle forward. You don't want to fall behind. Yeah.
All right, so you notice you're catching up. Again, we have to do it ahead, a step ahead, so you should be coming back on the throttle about now. Just a hair, and now you're trying to match my speed. So, so now, again, look at my left wing. Push the throttle forward, you're falling behind. You see how you're falling behind? Push the throttle forward, push yeah. the throttle forward. All right, so I want you to close up. Now, if you're going to close up the formation, you're going to be maneuvering. So you need to push the throttle forward. So go ahead and do that. By the way, if I'm on your left, how, how, how do I make sure that I'm in the correct direction? That's with the laser stuff? The correct direction? I mean, I see you on let's, my let's, let's. I want you to worry about one thing at a time for now. I'll just hold on to that question. I'm not dismissing you. But no problem. In, my, in my best, in my experience, we got to do one thing at a time. So let's close up the formation. And once that's done and you're comfortable, then I'll, enter, then I'll uh, answer your question, okay? Great. More throttle, keep coming right, more throttle, more throttle. More throttle, slower, a little bit smoother. All right, perfect. Let's get a little closer. So again, as you adjust to the right, your throttle should be going forward. These have to be automatic. You shouldn't just be turning a little right and not adjusting your throttle. You're going to always have to make throttle adjustments, especially when I'm just flying. Well, really always. Come more right. Let's get closer. Let's try to be on the same level. I want your inputs to be slower. Grab the stick, grab your stick, slow inputs. A little bit more to the right, give it some gas. See how you're falling behind? Because you failed to give it gas, give it gas. More throttle, more throttle, more throttle. Your formation work is uh, actually pretty good considering you don't have much experience, so. More throttle, you're falling back and you're getting you're drifting away. We gotta be able to focus on that. So come to the right, give it throttle. Steady inputs on the on the stick. You're getting away. I want you to come right, push the throttle forward. Keep coming right, throttle full forward now. Keep pushing the throttle forward. You're going left again. Come right. Come right, push the throttle all the way forward now. Slow and puts on the stick. Keep coming right. I don't know why I keep adjusting left. Come right. Right, the other right. More throttle. All right. Now let's push the throttle all the way forward. Level out. Push the throttle all the way forward. You see, you're going right or left, and you're just holding the throttle in places, which is why you keep falling behind. And now you got to give it more throttle just to catch up. Does that make sense? Yeah, I need to know the exact time when to increase or decrease. That's going to come with experience, which is why I'm trying to guide you now when to do it. But. Okay. Uh, it's going to come with a bit more experience, just, just don't be frustrated. Again, you're trying to match my, so keep coming forward. You're trying to match my airspeed. Forward, you're getting further away.
More swallow. More swallow, brother. Come on, we can do this. Doing really well. Okay, I want you to don't worry about that. I want you to I want you to relax a little bit. Shake out your hands. Take a deep breath. Talk to me. All right. I want you to relax. It's a good thing we don't have an uh, afterburner here. Uh, I would be out of fuel now. <laughs> nah, I think you'd be okay. <laughs> so, um, what was your question? Yeah, so uh, let's say we are in this position right now, like like we are now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let's say you are going 3-0 uh, direction. Mm -hmm. How do I know that? what's your direction to go the same one? Because if we go to slightly, uh, let's say there is a separation of uh, 10 degrees, then uh, I mean, how, how do I make sure I'm going on the right direction that you are? Okay, that's a good question. Formation flying isn't me saying I'm going this direction or you going that direction. Um, once you call set of saddle, your whole job is to maintain separation from the lead and to fly formation off the lead. So just like now, as I'm turning to the left, I'm, I may call it out or I may just not say anything at all. I don't, I don't, I'm not uh, obligated to let you know I'm turning a left or which heading but you are obligated to fly off of me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've always got to maintain sight based on the formation you're in. You've got to tra maintain your position as best as you can. See, now you're a little bit ahead of me or you should be a little bit further back, which is okay. It's not okay, but it's okay for this flight. Um, so yeah, you've got to constantly make adjustments based on what I'm doing. My airspeed can get faster my airspeed can get slower it doesn't matter um, your whole job is to just like I was saying a little bit earlier is to match what your flight lead is doing so if I keep coming left and you're going oh man he's coming left I, I have as the flight lead I have no obligation to try to adjust for you once you call set or saddle your job is to adjust for me um, and the lead not only has the obligation of leading the flight but it's ultimately his responsibility to accomplish the mission which is why the number two's job is to once you call set a saddle your whole focus is to stay with him for the most part until we get you to a, a, a higher level of your flying that's all you got to worry about okay okay So we'll practice this for a little bit. I want you to get a little bit of practice coming off the wedge, the wedge formation. I see your, again, your positioning is not bad. It's just your distance a little is a little off. So when I'm asking you to get a little closer, which our brevity for that would be close up, um, it seems like you're having a hard time getting closer. So I want you to just work on that, okay? All right. Like I said, your, your positioning is actually really good, man. You've got some good stuff to work off of. I'm very happy with that. Thanks.
Now, in your own time, I want you to work on getting closer to me. Just remember, as you try to get closer or further, you're going to have to adjust the throttle. So closer, you're going to have to push the throttle forward. Fur further away, you may have to come off the throttle. It's just going to depend on the situation, all right? Yeah. It's crazy. I was, I was, near, I was near you, and one second later, I am far from you. <laughs> That's how it is. I don't know what, don't know what happened. Constant game of adjustments. So imagine this and you're at your F-16 and you got to switch the, from air to air mode to air to ground mode. You're trying to get your sensor onto the target and you look up and your lead is gone. And you're like, uh oh. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Again, positioning is perfect. Really good positioning. Yeah, one of my problems is that, it, let's say, now I'm good, and one second later I see you uh, from 100 miles. I don't know what happens now. <laughs> Just time and experience, bro. Um, I'll tell you, you did. You're doing a lot better than I did my first flight. My first flight, I couldn't even. Uh, I went blind on my lead. Couldn't find him at all. Uh, for the whole flight, so you're doing a really good job, man. Really good job. Thanks a lot. So, 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 what, what happened that uh, a minute ago I was near you and now I'm a lot far from you? What happened? You increased your speed. I decreased my speed. Uh, no, my speed's constant at about 300 knots. Um, okay. it's possible I could increase my speed or decrease it ultimately uh, what's what's happening is and I don't say this to be critical of you but you're asking me um, you're getting about in a position and I think you're not mad you either your your eyes are getting away from me or you're not making adjustments um, enough there's something that's breaking your concentration where you're close one second and then you're far away um, yeah, you could, uh, you could be looking so around. I don't know. It, could, it looks like you got a little lag, so maybe there's a little lag going on. I don't know. But yes, with, uh, with that said, um, need to practice. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all it is. A little practice, a little experience, and you're going to be fine. I think you're. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to be fine. I, I, matter of fact, I'm not pretty sure. I know 100% you'll be okay because you're doing a really good job just holding position, which to me is 75% of the battle. But the other other portion of it is having correct spacing, which there is no exact correct spacing, but I'm noticing a bit of a issue when I want you to get a little closer or close up the formation, or I can see um, you having a, a, a issue with adjusting the throttle. So we're gonna get you a little practice with that, and uh, I think you'll be okay. Another F-16, I think this is section. 
to the right. I don't know if you see him. Yeah, I see him. F-16s everywhere. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful plane. <laughs> yeah. As you say. <laughs> nope. I, I can't say this enough. Like I said, your positioning is really good. I think it'll be really easy. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and um, let's call it here. I'm going to give you some stuff to practice, all right? Let's go ahead and exit right. out of the server. To exit the server? Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot. No, well, of course. Okay. I got some other stuff for you, and I want you to take a look at some stuff. Okay, I'm uh, going out of the server now. Yeah, as am I. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm back right. under the VC. I want you to take a look at your DMs. To go back to the Discord? Yes, go back to the Discord. You don't have to come all the way out of DCS. 